So when you're ready, coming to a seated position, bringing yourself maybe onto a prop if you've got something to just elevate your spine slightly and your knees can relax down towards the ground. Good. Perfect. So we'll begin with some spine warming exercises. But before we make any movements, let's try and come to a space of stillness in the body. Maybe there's lots of fluctuations of the mind and that's fine. Let's just try and sit with that for a moment. So just finding a tall spine, long, elongated through your spine, your posture, sitting up straight, as straight as you can. And you can always sit up against a wall if that feels more comfortable for you. But if you feel comfortable to let the eyes close, drawing that focus inwards now. So as we begin to shut off the senses of our sight, we can start to really ignite the other senses in this moment. So we can become aware of the sounds within our, our room or outside of our room, even the sounds that coming from our own bodies. So just taking a moment to now just listen into that, noticing any warmth or any coolness that you may feel, noticing any touch of anything around you, the fabric of your clothes on your skin, the mat beneath you, any taste you may be aware of as you swallow. And just taking that all in in this moment that we really want to use this practice to be present that right now we're not thinking about what else we need to do. There's no expectations. There's no end goal. We're just simply in this moment to really tune into how our body feels mentally and physically. And one of the most useful things you can use to help you find your present moment is to really connect to your breath. Something that we often take granted for. So let's start to really listen to the breath. Pay a bit of attention to it. And this may be the first time today you've paid any attention to it. So feeling the inhale, maybe it's lifting up and rising up from the base of the spine up to the crown of the head. And then as you exhale, that breath really almost deflates out of the body. Again, aware of the inhale with no force or no gripping or holding, and then feeling the exhalation, all the air that filters out of the nostrils. And again, a deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Again, a deep breath in. Notice where you're predominantly breathing in this moment. Exhale. And if you really notice a lot of this breath held up in the chest, often when we're quite anxious or stressed, we can breathe mainly up in the chest area. So I invite you to really encourage that breath to spread a little bit further into the body. So perhaps exploring that breath spreading into your back body, into the ribs a little bit more, spreading it out as far as you can without force but just allowing some more space into the whole body. So just taking a couple more breaths in your own time. And as you concentrate on that breath just be aware of anything else is starting to grip elsewhere. So maybe across the brow, the forehead. 
good. So we're going to nice and slowly begin with some spine warming breaths. You're going to let your palms just rest beside you. You're welcome to open your eyes here if you wish. And we're going to take a breath in and slowly start to reach the hands up to the sky. Interlace the fingers and then press the heels of your palms upwards. As you exhale, start to round through your whole back, hugging the chin into the chest and the arms become parallel to the floor. Then you'll release the fingertips, you'll inhale, reach the hands behind you, interlace the fingers behind and shoulders draw back. Exhale, release the hands beside your hips and the chin to the chest. Let's take some more of those together. So inhale, reach up to the sky, interlace fingers, heels of the palms up. And then exhale, rounding through your whole back, hugging the chin to the chest, arms parallel to the floor. Release the fingertips as you inhale, stretch back and behind, roll the shoulders back, and then exhale to release. Great, let's do that again. Inhale, really find length into the side body, reach up. Exhale, round through your whole back, keep the arms long and straight. Release the fingertips as you inhale, reach back and behind, press the fingertips away, and then exhale to release. Let's take one more together. So in your own time, maybe your breath is longer or shorter here, but really encourage that length to begin with. And then that rounding as you exhale, the belly draws in. Inhale, we reach back, the chest lifts. And then exhale, we come to lower fingertips to the earth, chin to the chest. Well done. And then roll out your shoulders a couple of times. We can take the fingertips to the shoulders and then rolling around a couple of times in both directions. And just notice how the shoulders feel here today. How do the shoulders feel? Maybe there's a little clickiness, crunchy. So we warm up through the joints. Wonderful. And we're going to place the right palm to the floor just beside us. We're going to inhale, take the left hand and sweep it across the body, up over the head. And then as you exhale, sort of look back and behind as the palm draws back. So you're drawing a big circle with that left arm. We'll take a few more. So inhale, across the body, up over the head. Back elbow is a little soft. And then exhale. Let's take one more. Breathe in. Keep both seat bones, seat bones grounded and breathe out. Perfect, then release that left palm to the floor. We'll inhale across the body, the right arm reaches up over the head and then exhale back and behind. Two more, nice and slow in your own time. Reach the fingertips away. Try and draw both seat bones down and exhale. Last one together, breathing in and then breathing out nice and slowly. Well done, everybody. Roll out your shoulders and then take your time to uncross your legs and come to an all fours position. So you can pop your props to the side there and bring yourself to all fours. Fingertips beneath the shoulders, wrists underneath the shoulders rather, and knees underneath your hips. And then just keeping your shoulder blades nice and square so you're not collapsing into the shoulder blades, you're not collapsing into the lower back. So think about almost sending your tailbone back and away to encourage that length into your back. We're going to take a breath in and slowly take our right arm out to the side. So just hold there and try and keep your shoulder blades still square. Engage through the core and then on your next inhalation, we're going to reach that right palm up to the sky. So you should feel a stretch through the obliques there. And then as we exhale, we're going to thread the arm through across the other side, but just hover as if you're doing a little press up through that left elbow. And then again, let's come back to center. Take a breath in. Exhale, hold. So we're keeping the shoulder straight. And then we inhale, stretch up to the sky. And then exhale, thread through. Hover there with that left elbow bent. And one more time. Take a breath in, just keeping the arms parallel to the shoulder. Breathe out. Then we inhale, reach to the sky. 
and then exhale thread through this time if you can and it feels comfortable to do so you can rest the cheek to the floor you can let that shoulder hug across the body and then slowly let the cheek rest down now if you feel that your weight is drawing forwards too much try and shift a little back into the hips and breathe here option to extend that left arm forwards and encourage the left armpit to draw down so you really get a bit more stretch into that left side as well yeah nice everyone deep breath in slow breath out let's take one more breath in and out and then slowly when you're ready slide that left palm back beneath your shoulder on one breath we're going to inhale reach the right hand to the sky and then exhale back to center good so bringing the hands back beneath the shoulders coming to the other side so again shoulder blades broad let's take that left palm out to the side so just in line with your shoulder at first engage through the core as we inhale reach the right hand to the sky look up and then exhale thread across the body just hover there so there's a bit of work into that left right tricep and then inhale back to center keep the arm reached out exhale hold so we're taking it quite slow and controlled here we're going to inhale left hand to the sky and then exhale thread through really nice everybody inhale come back to center reach the arm to the side hold as you exhale then inhale reach up to the sky and exhale thread through this time plant the left shoulder left ear down to the ground option to extend that right arm forwards and encourage that left armpit to draw down to the floor and breathe here breathe space into the back body breathe space into the sides of the ribs ground a little bit further down through the right armpit and let's take one more breath in well done and then slide the right palm back beneath the shoulder in one breath we inhale the left hand to the sky look up and then exhale return back to center well done hug the chin to the chest and round through the upper back in cat stretch and then start to roll your hips round in circles try and just let your head now feel quite heavy so there's no gripping into the neck and we'll start to really explore our spiral movements now so you can encourage a, a, a figure of eight drawing so rolling across the shoulders rolling across into the hips and just allow again the head to really release down maybe there's a little softness into the elbows and just notice how that feels in the spine is there anywhere that tends to feel like there's a little bit of hesitation maybe in certain parts of the body where you maybe feel a bit stagnant and then moving in the other direction just notice how that feels is there one way that feels a little bit more at ease allow the eyes to close maybe for a moment and to really allow you to sense into the body how it feels there's no right or wrong way of doing this there's no right speed or anything just about really encouraging you to feel into your own body today good nice everybody deep breath in deep breath out deep breath in slow breath out for one more breath take a deep breath in and then when you're ready exhale chin to the chest let the toes tuck under and together we start to slowly reach the heel hips to the sky and find our first downward facing dog and then press away through your fingertips lengthen through the arms as you gently ease out into the legs and the hamstrings a little softness into the knees and breathe 
How does that breath feel today? Again, expand a little bit more with that breath. Expand into the back body. Expand into the ribs. Soften the jaw, soften the neck. Good, let's take one deep breath in. And open the mouth as you exhale. Really stretch through the jaw. We're going to walk the fingertips forward, sorry, the toes forwards to the top end of your mat. And your knees can be bent here. Your knees soft. And then start to slowly roll the tummy over the thighs and come to this forward fold at the top end of your mat. And if you feel okay to simply let the head roll out and release. Almost spiraling around the neck to just encourage a loosening up of the neck there. And then press down through the feet, grip through the toes, strong through the thighs as you start to roll your spine up like a rag doll. Take your time as you come up and the head is last to come up. Good. And when you come up to standing, just take your time to take a hold of your shoulders again. Roll out through the shoulder joints. Breathe. Good. Stand tall, stand strong, but roll out through the torso and the upper back. And we're going to take a few sort of undulating roll downs through the spine. So pressing in through the feet. Hands can come to the sides as you roll the breastbone to the sky. If you can, look up. And then soften the knees, hug the chin to the chest and roll your spine down like a rag doll. Press back through the feet. And again, let's start to roll up. Ragdoll your way up. Open the arms out like wings now as you inhale to reach up. Little softness in the knees. Hug the chin to the chest. And then exhale, roll back down. Let's take one more. So really explore this movement in your own way. Just really think about as you roll up this space into the back body. And then as you lift your arms upwards, the space in the front body. Good. And then hug the chin to the chest, rounding through the back. Well done. Then reach the fingertips to the earth or your shins. We're going to inhale, press the heart forwards, long flat back. And then exhale, plant the palms, step back into plank pose, or if there's any back issues, you can lower to your knees. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, we'll all lower knees, lower the chin, lower the chest to the ground, nice and slowly. Slide your forearms forwards, maybe you're in sphinx, and we lift the heart, we breathe in. And then exhale, hug chin to chest. Tuck the toes and find your downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Encouraging a little bit of a bend into the knees so that your spine can straighten a bit more. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let's start to walk forwards again. Tiptoe the feet to the front end of your mat. And then bend the knees, exhale, fold, chin to chest. Let's take two more, two of those rolls again through the spine. So hug the abdominals in, round your spine up like a rag doll. A softness into the knees as you reach the hands to the sky. And then curl in as you exhale and fold back down. Let's take one more. Press through the feet, hug in at the abdominals, inhale, float the hands high. And then exhale, gently rounding as you fold back down, chin to chest. Inhale, press the heart forwards to a long flat back. And then exhale, step back into your plank pose, option to lower the knees. Take a breath in. And then exhale, option to lower knees. Or if you feel warm to lower through plank, you're welcome to do so. Ground the pelvis. Float the feet away as we inhale. Maybe you're in a cobra now. If your elbows are lifted, lift your heart. And then exhale, press back down, making your way back into downward facing dog pose. Well done, everybody. Breathe in. Breathe out. Again, a softness into the knees. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
One more breath, breathe with ease. Soften the jaw and breathe out. Well done, start to look forwards, tiptoe your feet to the top end of your mat. And then exhale, fold. One more round here through the spine, so press through the feet. Inhale, roll up, knees soft as your palms reach up. And then hug in at the midline, draw the chin to the chest as you exhale, float down. Last one, everybody, breathe in to roll up. Reach the hands to the sky. And then a softness into the knees as we exhale and fold. We're gonna inhale, float the heart forwards to the halfway lift. And this time exhale, send your right leg back lower the back knee and then float the palms up to the sky good so you're in this low lunge we're keeping the back toes tucked breathe in and then as we exhale we fold over the front thigh but reach the palms back and behind two more as you inhale to lift the heart and then exhale float forward one more breathe in and breathe out good on the inhale float the hands up maybe slide that front foot back a little bit engage through the core as we lift now to our high lunge good soften through the shoulders let's bend through that front knee so we're in our high lunge take a breath in and similar float forwards as you exhale and dive the heart forwards reach the hands back Breathe in, float the hands to the sky, keep the back neck nice and long. And then breathe out, find length into that front body. Let's take one more, breathe in. And then breathe out. Good, hold. Breathe space into your front body. Nice, everybody. Roll the shoulders back for one more breath in. And then exhale, lower the hands to the floor. Slowly, when you're ready, slide your left leg back. Downward dog, breathe in. Breathe out. Let's slowly float forwards to a plank position as you inhale. And then option to lower knees or lower through your plank to the ground. Float the palms forwards, float the elbows off as you breathe into your cobra or maybe sphinx and then lower with control. Inhale, press to all fours, and exhale, downward dog. Nice, everybody, two breaths, inhale, and exhale. Little softness in the knees, breathe in, breathe out. We're gonna slowly float the right leg to the sky, so reach the right toes nice and high, and then as you exhale, hug the knee into the navel, scoop and round your upper back for space and step that right foot forwards. Lower the back knee. Together we inhale, reach the hands to the sky, look up. Good, ground the front toes as you exhale, float your heart forwards. Inhale, the fingertips reach up, nice and open through the front body. And then exhale, fold forwards, interlace your fingers behind now and roll the shoulder blades back and behind. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Option to really keep the tummy resting on that front thigh. Option, if you wish, to lift the back knee and allow your heart to dive forward, humble warrior. Always welcome to stay here with the knee down. Let's take one breath in and out well done everyone release the palms to the floor step that left foot forwards forward fold and then exhale float your heart to the thighs one roll up like a ragdoll soften the knees as you inhale roll up fingertips reach to the sky look up and then chin to the chest as you exhale melt yourself back down to the ground Inhale to that halfway lift, look forwards, long spine. And then exhale, we'll step the left foot back. Lower the back knee to the floor. 
Inhale, float the hands to the sky. And then hold as you relax through the shoulders. Good, back into that low lunge. Take a breath in. And then exhale, reach the fingertips back and behind, fold. And again, power through the legs, breathe in, lift. And then exhale, reach back and behind. One more, breathe in. And breathe out. Nice and controlled. Inhale, the hands float up. Maybe slide that front foot forwards a little so you can now, backwards rather, so you can engage. Press through the feet and then power up through the legs as we reach up to our high lunge. Good. Bend that front knee a little bit more. Breathe in. Square the hips. Breathe out. When you're ready, breathe. And we're going to exhale, float the heart forwards, hinge at the hips as you reach the hands back. Good. On the next inhale, reach up, rise up. And then exhale, extend, reach back and behind. One more, everybody breathe in. And breathe out. Well done. From here, release the hands to the floor. Slowly send the right leg back. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, option to come forwards to vinyasa, so forwards to plank or knees to the ground. Exhale, lower, maybe through chaturanga if that's in your practice. Inhale, up dog or cobra, shoulders back. And then hug the abdominals in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Well done everybody, breathe for me here. Breathing nice and slow. A little softness into the knees. Wonderful, breathe. Let's slowly take that left leg to the sky. Reach up nice and high. Good, and then exhale, hug the knee to the navel, scoop and round through the upper back and step that left foot forwards. Lower the back knee to the ground and we inhale, float the hands to the sky and then exhale again, hug the tummy to thigh, reach the palms back and behind and again, breathe in, good, breathe out. So keep the tummy resting on that thigh, breathe. Now interlace the fingers behind, shoulders drawing back. Option to tuck the back toe. If you wish to lift the back knee, you're welcome to stay down and dive your heart forwards into this humble warrior. But we've got the back heel lifted, so a little bit tricky on your balance. When you're ready, take one more breath in. Well done, everybody. Exhale, you can lower the knee to the ground and then step that back foot forwards to the front end of your mat and exhale, fold. Well done, everybody. Chin to the chest. Inhale, float your heart forwards, long flat back. And then exhale, fold again. We're going to start to add on. So we're going to step the right leg behind. Keep the back knee lifted and inhale, rise up to your high lunge. Shoulders relaxed. Well done. The stance can be a little bit shorter here, so we're predominantly going to work into the upper body, so don't worry about being too long into your lunge. Left foot forwards, and then open the arms out like wings, and breathe, good. So at the moment, my palms are facing up, my shoulders drawn back and down, my chest is open. So I'm going to encourage you to now slowly rotate the thumbs forwards, Feel your shoulders draw forwards and you're finding this hugging in position as you fold forwards. Then we're going to inhale, press the heart up and rotate the thumbs to draw back and behind. So you're getting that rotation through your shoulder joints, chest lifts. Good. As you exhale, hug the chin to chest and then rotate the palms now so the thumbs draw back and behind. Let's take one more. Inhale. Lift the heart, the chest, thumbs roll back, chest opens. And then exhale, hug in and round through the shoulders there. 
Good, when you're ready, we're gonna inhale, start to lift the heart, thumbs draw back, and then draw the back knee, knee, knee sorry, draw the back heel down as we open into a warrior two. Well done, a little softness into the elbows there. Breathe in and breathe out. Good, we're gonna take that right palm, we're gonna sweep it forwards and then up over the head as we exhale to find our warrior two. One more time, breathe in and then breathe out nice and slow. This time we inhale, float that right hand to the sky, lift the back heel off the floor and then let that left hand reach back and behind so we're in this revolved high lunge position. Back palm can reach the right thigh or maybe to the lower back. And then we inhale, press the heart to the sky, lift your gaze if that feels okay in your neck. And together nice and slow, exhale, float the hands to the floor. And slowly from here, so just take your time now. You've got fingertips to the floor. We're gonna bend the front knee and start to hover our weight forwards onto that left foot. Good, keep the hips nice and square. And then when you're ready, hands come to the top end of your mat. See if you can now balance your weight on that left leg and float the right leg to the sky. So don't worry how high the leg comes, that's not important, but just encourage this lifting sensation away from the ground. When you're ready, look forwards, inhale, press your heart forwards. Slowly, you're gonna bend the supported leg and exhale, hug the right knee behind that bent knee. We'll do a couple there so you can get to grips with it. So on the inhale, press the right leg to the sky. As you exhale, soften that left knee and then start to hug the right knee behind. One more, everybody. Breathe in, right leg to the sky. And then exhale, bend the left knee. Hug the right knee behind. And we're actually now gonna make our way all the way down to the floor. Okay, so we've got left foot down, right knee hugs behind. Hopefully, <laughs> we've all made it there to the floor. So you should have both your seat bones now onto the mat. You've got your left knee hugging into your chest. And if you're finding that by having both knees bent in that way that your hips don't stay grounded, feel free to stretch the right leg out in front. Keep the right leg straight, that's fine. So we'll hug the left knee in. When you're ready, take a breath in and reach the hands to the sky, look up. As you exhale, we twist and open to our left side. The left palm to the floor, and you can really hug that right, left knee, sorry, right into your chest. And breathe here, just let your eyes close. And rather than thinking about this shape of the pose as such, just start to really feel this lengthening, this growing from the base of your spine all the way up to the crown of your head. Well done, everybody. Trying to avoid the neck being the predominant part of the spine that moves. Grow from the base of the spine. Wonderful. Nice, everybody. If your right leg is extended, reach the heel away. Let's take one more deep breath in. And exhale, nice and slow. When you're ready, we're gonna inhale, come back to center, take your time. We're gonna exhale, derotate to the opposite side. So you're twisting now over to your right side. Good. And then see if you can now actually swing your arms all the way round. You're gonna take your whole body round. So then we come back into a downward facing dog pose. You're probably facing the other end of your mat now. So take a moment to breathe. Find your downward dog. Maybe have a little rock and a sway, a few spirals in your downward dog and notice how the spine feels. Breathe in, 
Breathe out, well done everybody. We're gonna tiptoe the feet to the front end of the mat. Take a breath in, take a breath out. And then send your left leg back and behind. Strong through the abdominals. When you're ready, we inhale, rise up to our high lunge. Ooh, find your balance, breathe. Good, shoulders relax. So making sure now that that stance isn't too long so that you're predominantly working through the upper body. And we're gonna open the arms out like wings like we did before. Good. When you're ready, the palms face up, the thumbs draw back and we inhale to lift the heart, the chest. As you exhale, hug the chin to the chest, rotate the palms so the thumbs draw back, shoulders draw forwards. Press through the feet as you inhale to spiral the heart up. And then as you exhale, the tummy draws in, shoulders draw forwards, we rotate through the shoulder joints. Let's take one more, breathe in, lift the heart, lift the chest. Hug the abdominals in, breathe out. We're gonna inhale, lift up. Slowly, when you're ready, draw the back heel down and then open your torso to face now over that right side. So, sorry, the torso is over the hips stacking, but your right knee is bent and your gaze over that right fingertip, the right fingertips in warrior two. Breathe in, breathe out. We're gonna take the back palm and as you inhale, float the palm forwards up over your head and exhale meeting in warrior two and again inhale you float the left hand up over the head exhale back and behind last time together breathe in and breathe out good as we inhale the left hand floats forwards we reach the left hand to the sky and now the right arm reaches back and behind Option to take the right palm to the opposite thigh or maybe to the lower back and revolving into this high lunge as you breathe in, lift your gaze, breathe out. One more breath, breathe. And then when you're ready, nice and slowly windmill the palms forwards. Take your time as you square up your hips. Maybe this is where you have your blocks to hand and we're just going to tiptoe the back foot forwards. Let your weight begin to shift now onto that right foot, so spread the toes. And then nice and powerful through that right leg, see if you can now float the left foot off the floor. And maybe it only just lifts off the floor a couple of times as you find your balance, that's fine. Some of you may be a little higher into a standing splits pose. So let's take a breath in and lift the heart forwards. And then bend that front knee and slowly tuck the left knee behind as you crouch down. Two more, inhale, reach that left leg to the sky. Bend the supported knee and exhale, crouch down. One more everybody, well done, breathe in. And then exhale, this time, see if you can now meet all the way down to the floor. Coming to sit, well done. So both seat bones down on the mat. This time you should have your right knee hugged into your chest. If you find that you can't get both seat bones grounded, you can extend that left leg forwards to allow both seat bones to root down. So hug the right knee to your chest. When you're ready, we'll inhale, grow tall and reach the hands to the sky, lift up. And then as you exhale, slowly float and twist to your right side. Right palm to reach behind. And maybe that left elbow really hugs in and squeezes the knee to the navel. Keep both seat bones rooted. And try and press that right big toe to the ground if you can. If you can, let the eyes close. And again, just really notice how it feels in your spine. Can you find a little bit more movement through the base of the spine? Can you find a little bit more lift from the base of the spine and up? Can you soften the jaw? 
And can we let go of that end goal? And just being here in this present moment that where the body is in this moment, that is right in this moment. Take one more breath in. And then exhale. We're gonna slowly return to the center as you breathe in. And then de-rotate over to your left. Allow yourself to gently sort of hinge over to that left side. Maybe you get that little creak and click into your lower back there. Take a breath in. And then exhale. Roll the chin up to the chest nice and slow. And we're gonna now extend both legs forwards. Give your legs a good shake out. Well done, everybody. And then take your time to slowly lower down, to lie onto your backs. Start to settle the hips down, the feet about hip distance apart, if that's comfortable. There's always room to change position so you're comfortable. And just allow the arms to rest beside you. Take a moment to settle here and connect to your breath. Breathing in. Breathing out. Good, and pressing through the feet, take a breath in, lightly arch into your spine. And then as you exhale, draw the abdominals in, lengthen into your whole back. Good, we're gonna start to slowly float the hips up to the sky. Finding your bridge pose, and this bridge pose may be traditionally with the knees hip distance apart but if that doesn't suit you and serve you you're welcome to take the feet a little wider just playing with what feels good for you in your back take a deep breath in and then as you exhale start to lower upper back mid back tuck the tummy in so that you lower down bone by bone through your spine nice and slow when you reach the bottom, take a breath in. And then again, lengthen your spine as we exhale to float the hips back up to the sky, pressing into the feet, drawing the hip bones up to the sky. So you lengthen through that whole front body, but also finding some length in the back body. Take a breath in at the top. And then again, we exhale, lower upper back, mid back, tuck the tummy in. A lower down with control, nice and slow. And then option on your third time, we can stick with that option or you can now start to inhale, float the hips up and reach the arms up at the same time. As you exhale, reach the arms back and behind and feel that whole front body opening. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Feel your breath, take a breath in. And then nice and slowly, like a moving meditation, the eyes can close as you lower the spine, you lower the palms all together, nice and slow. No rushing. Well done, once you reach the bottom, just let your head rock from side to side. And then take your feet out as wide as your mat, your knees come together to drop in together. And we'll window wipe our knees side to side. So the feet are as wide as your mat and the knees window wipe the same direction side to side. Good, and then start to let your arms open out, maybe like cactus arms, the 90 degree angle. And we can start to just let the legs settle over to the right side. Don't worry, they probably won't touch the floor, that's fine. You're welcome to pop a cushion underneath if that feels better to have some support, but let yourself rest here for a moment. Let the gaze turn to the left side as you take a deep breath in and a slow breath out. A deep breath in and a slow breath out. Good, deep breath in. Slow breath out. Slowly bring the head back 
to the center. Draw the legs to the center and then rolling them over to the left. Let your head turn to the right. Close the eyes. Take a deep breath in and out. A deep breath in and out. A deep breath in and out. Slowly let the head return to center. Let the legs return to center. And then hug both knees to your chest. Squeeze your knees in as you rock on your back from side to side, nice and slow. Take the knees out nice and wide and you can encourage a little bit of a bit massage into the lower back. You're welcome to take a happy baby pose here if you wish to where you hug the knees towards the armpits. You can take a hold around the outer edges of the soles of the feet and you press the soles of the feet as if they were to touch the ceiling but draw the knees in towards the armpits. So you've got this parallel line, knee beneath the ankle and just take a two deep breaths here. If you're happy just keeping the knees hugged to your chest, you're welcome to do that. Take a deep breath in, really feel that space into your whole back body. And a slow breath out. When you're ready, bring the soles of the feet together to touch. Bring the feet to the floor. Take a deep breath in and out and then option to let your legs stretch away or if you prefer to have your knees bent as we now come down to our resting pose ready for our shavasana